Hello and welcome to my Pictory AI tutorial for beginners. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be utilizing the script to video feature, which is probably one of their most popular features. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below where you can actually get a free trial for Pictory. And if you happen to still be using it on your free trial, I will also leave a coupon code. Should you wanna upgrade, you can get a nice little discount. So let's begin. On the left here, we're simply gonna click on the proceed button. Oh, and also while I'm going through, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks so that even if you've seen like some of my other previous videos, I'm gonna combine some of the best things that I've figured out in this as well. So I do have a script. I'm going to paste it in very quickly. Thank you, Chad GPT. So I decided not to keep it too long because once you figure out how to do a few of the things, it's pretty much just repeating the same process. So something I do want to bring up right away is that when you put this into Pictory, what it's going to do is look for videos related to a lot of the keywords here. So given the fact that, say, uh, Chat GPT had created this for me, what you normally want to do is look through and say, if I just was to give this to Pictory, would it be able to find an appropriate video? Because we know this is going to be about YouTube overall, but it says authenticity. Be yourself and let your unique personality shine through your content. Authenticity builds trust with your audience. So overall, that can be very broad. And that's something you have to be OK with because like it didn't say like with your marketing and so on and so forth. I think that one's fine because we can differentiate from using YouTube in the background like this one here. Engaging to say like YouTube content. Just by putting that there, it's gonna obviously allow us to get some better videos overall. Like so consistency, you know, uploading YouTube videos. This is just giving you an example. So incorporate these three keys into your video marketing strategy. So video marketing is there, which that's like a keyword, which is good. Uh, if you found these, let's just say YouTube tips helpful. And then at the end, this is something that you can do too. So if you're creating these videos, you want to think of what's going to be your main goal for this. Do you want them to just simply like, comment, or maybe subscribe? So do you want engagement from this? Do you want them to maybe click a link in your description? Maybe you want them to sign up for a newsletter. Maybe you want them to reach out to you, send you an email. Maybe you want to get them on a phone call. Whatever it's going to be, don't forget that you can add a call to action at the end. I just put that very quickly. I said, don't forget to check out the link down below if you'd like more information about succeeding with YouTube. Could be a webinar, newsletter, could be your website, free training, another video, that's up to you. Okay, so overall so far, those are just a few tips. Obviously, if you have a longer script, it might take a little bit longer to look through and say like, hey, is there a specific keyword in here? So Pictory can pick up on the vibe I'm trying to get from this specific sentence. If not, it's very easy to change and I'll show you how to do that. Nevertheless, let's click on proceed. And of course, this is going to be our templates library. I can scroll down a little bit. Ironically enough, corporate one's going to be one of my favorites. And when you're going to choose one of these, keep in mind, you're mostly just looking at the like the font here, the color in the background and the text, because all the videos here in the back are going to be changing. So it's kind of like what I guess, say, color do you want to go for? Maybe if you have a branding, you can't always change those around. But I think corporate looks good. Of course, aspect ratio, this is gonna be for YouTube videos, you know, the uh, vertical ones and then the one by one if you wanna use more of the square looking, but 16.9 for this. Let's give it a second and once it is done loading, I will walk you on over the process of using the storyboard, editing your video and some other tips and tricks as well. All right, so here we are in the storyboard and we're gonna take a look at some of the main features here. So on the left is gonna be the story. This is where we have our script and it's gonna be broken down into multiple scenes here. If ever we wanted to change this, all we have to do is click our mouse, say right here, and of course we can move this over, say like authenticity is king, whatever you wanted to do, right? Or you can just delete that. If you want to split the scene, there's going to be a button right there where you can do that. Say like if you have something that's too long, that's going to be a possibility. But nevertheless, let's uh, kind of scroll down there. Everything else looks pretty good. And that looks good. So not a whole lot going on there, which is good. Next is going to be our visuals. This is probably where you're going to do a lot of the editing, because if you think about it, if you have a script, you probably looked it over. You don't need to edit this around too much, right? So visuals is what's going to be next. And what you can do is click on each of the scenes. And this is where we're going to go through and say like, okay, do we want to use this as our visual? It does match up, but maybe you just want to use something different. Okay. Maybe you're looking for a different color or maybe actual person in that. So this is going to be related to YouTube video on video marketing success. You'll notice that it even kind of adds the, I guess you could say blue to some of the main keywords here. So we could do say YouTube, let's say success, something like that. Feel free to just, you know, go crazy with keywords, you know, whatever it is you want to use. Some are going to be related. Some aren't. It's just going to be the way it is. We could also just do YouTube marketing. 
I won't go through all the videos because that's probably going to be the process that takes a little bit longer. But nevertheless, once you find one that you want to use, all you have to do is simply click on it once. Okay, and just like that, it's going to be replaced right there, which is good. My computer's just loading a little bit. And now we can move on to the next scene. So scene number two. Also, you notice this has these story blocks there. Keep in mind that, let's see. So when it comes to the watermark, I don't have the free trial version, but in the free trial version, there's going to be, I believe, like a pictory watermark. That's always going to be there. Once you upgrade, it gets removed. And for these, the, the ones on the back of the videos, those will be there when you actually download and save your videos. So in case you were wondering. So here are the three keys to thrive on YouTube. So just a, a generic YouTube one. Let's search here. This is good, like thriving, growing in views, right? I'd go with that. So let's click on that one and there it goes. So that's the story blocks there. Let's move to scene three, authenticity. Authenticity, I mean, you could use that if you want, like it is authentic, a hundred dollar bill. Maybe we want a person that's just being friendly. Like that could be a lot of things, right? I mean, could be that too. It doesn't always have to be perfect, right? Scene four, be yourself and let your unique personality shine through your content. I think that's a good one. They look like they're having a lot of fun using their personalities, letting it shine, builds trust. Actually that works very nicely, but let's see what else we have. So build trust, maybe like a handshake, right? So all you need to do here is kind of like let your imagination run wild. And was that like a trust run or trust fall? How about a handshake? Because when you're going through, we talked about how you can use keywords so that it'll pick up on good videos. But what are some other ways that you could obviously talk about this? So with trust, obviously handshake is one of them. I think we saw before someone was doing one of those where they run into your arms. There's like the trust fall. I don't know if you ever did that when you were younger where you fall back on the people's arms and they obviously you have to trust them. But you know, a handshake can work too. Let's click on that. We have scene six, engaging YouTube content. So there you go, someone watching YouTube and they are clearly engaged. So uh, scene seven, capture viewers interest from the start. Let's just say like capture interest. Like I'm trying to think of someone who's like really focused. I mean, that's pretty much someone interested, right? They're taking a picture of something. There are multiple ways of capturing someone's interest. So whether someone's taking a photo or not, like I said, that's going to be completely up to you. I think this one works fine. This person is clearly interested in what's around them. While they might not be taking photos of your video, it's just a way of showcasing that. So once again, let's do eight. Make visually appealing videos with captivating titles and intriguing thumbnails. Let's see if we can do like video thumbnail. I'm not sure if you could have a video about that. Let's see, is she pointing to nothing in the air? Is she using an invisible computer? Okay, let's do YouTube thumbnail. If not that, I would say like videos or like someone scrolling through looking for videos, something like that. Okay, we have some there, that's fine, that'll work. Great, we are on scene nine. Keep it concise and deliver value. Let's see, deliver value or showcase value, give value. There you go. Deliver value. Kind of cheesy. That's like a 1995, like, uh, you know, gif or something, right? But uh, value, I mean, something like that can work. It really just depends on how different you want to go. Like not everything has to be perfect, like in terms of a video or whether it's going to be newer. This one's loading, but nevertheless, it looks good with YouTube there. Uh, regular uploads are crucial. Let's just do consistency. How about that? That's another way of saying that regular uploads are just being consistency, being consistent, being consistent. There we go. What does this one do? Also, in case you didn't notice, we can hover over and preview it. So in case we wanted to just, you know, decide if it's going to be good, create a content schedule and stick to it. That is great. Nice little diary there or a journal. Engage and helps YouTube's algorithm. Once again, that's perfect. Someone's surfing through. Algorithm is, of course, going to showcase your video or someone else's. And let's see, to grow your channel, let's do growing YouTube. see what we have here. So plus, I mean, that's perfect. Subscribers growing, numbers growing. I like it. 
Let's see, where are we right here on this one? Let's scroll down a little bit more. I'm just gonna do a few more that look like out of place. I think you get the idea here. Thank you for watching. I think we can do something better than that. Okay, how about person, thumbs up. Like, don't forget to give this video a like. Just kind of like other ideas that you could. Perfect, we got a thumbs up right there. That was 15, and of course, towards the end, so you give it a thumbs up. Okay, that one probably could have been used like the other one we just used there. Uh, stay focused, keep creating. This person might be doing a live that looks good. And last but not least, check out the link down below. How about like click the link? Maybe, <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see what else we have. I think we can do better than that. Like, How about a free resource, whatever it is you're giving away. So if you had a template, if it was a webinar, not financial help, how about free webinar or free training? That could be a lot of things, right? That could be like free personal training. Yeah, there we go. And then of course we do have some training there. Uh, so free um, YouTube gift maybe. <laughs> okay, how about a free gift? All right, we could also word that differently instead of like information or maybe at a giveaway or there you go, something free. It could be a free training, whatever it's going to be. So I think you get the idea when it comes to replacing the videos. I think that's gonna be like the biggest bulk of your time when doing this. And it really just depends on how picky you wanna be because there are a lot of things here that you could use and you could also not use. For example, I think this one is fine because it showcases a few people with like a great personality, smiling, say they were creating a video, they're having a good time, they're all laughs. Like in my opinion, I think that works perfectly fine. But maybe for someone else, they're like, eh, it's not YouTube related enough. You know, maybe, maybe not. That's gonna be up to you. But like I said, that's gonna be the biggest bulk of the work in Pictory, especially if you use like just a, an AI to create your script, uh, polish that up a little and then go from there. So we have our elements next. Not a whole lot going on here. We have some emojis, we have some gifts, we have some stickers. If you wanted to use that, let's uh, click on it. There you go, it goes right in the middle. We can resize it. Once my mouse moves where it needs to be, we can move it and of course delete it. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. So audio here, if you wanna use these, um, unfortunately my microphone is not picking up. It's not recording any sounds. I can hear them, but you can't. So there's no need for me to play them. This one's going to be applied. Of course, you can always click on this, or excuse me, click right here if you wanna remove it. Then there's gonna have plenty of them that you can search for, whether it be by mood, purpose, genre, duration, and of course, if you wanna clear those. We have our voiceovers, which aren't too bad. If you wanna use voiceovers for this specifically, you can simply just click on one of these and just do apply. So if we wanna to use Tom, Tom is now going to be applied for all of these, which is cool. Now there was another nice little tip and trick I can give you here, I did a previous video about. Let's say you have a video where you're doing a conversation with two people total. So, excuse me, so if you had two people going back and forth, we have our AI for one of the voices, and if you ever wanted to say, have another person speak, what you can do is click on a specific slide and go here and just simply do record voiceover. This is also gonna be good if you want to record your voice for all these slides as well. All you would simply need to do here is click on the press to record and read what's gonna be there, which I'll do very quickly. Be yourself and let your unique personality shine through your content. Click on stop and then we can click on save. Upon doing so, you'll notice we're on scene four here and where are we here? So what we can do is just click on current scene. And there we are, this is just gonna be utilized for scene four, everything else is gonna be the other voice. So if this was me talking, then it was say AI or someone else, then I can go here and this would be me talking once again, and I can do record voiceover. So there's also gonna be the ability to upload voiceover, so maybe if you're using Pictory with another voiceover type of software, this is where you can upload your file right here. I don't currently have any, but that's where that would go. So adding any type of voiceover using your own is a pretty easy process, like I said, if you want to just use your voiceover and talk through all of this, you would simply go to record voiceover for each single slide, do it, stop it, save it, apply it, and then repeat the process, okay? If you wanted to add some more text, so you can add a heading, a subheading, and body text. If we wanted to add a heading here, text here, of course, if I click off right there, you can see what it looks like. Of course, remember that story blocks isn't going to be there once you save it. 
you know, we can move it around, we can duplicate it. And of course, I'm just going to delete it there. Pretty self-explanatory. Also, there is going to be the aspects of high. And just so you can see that if you did want to change more of the aspects here, we have our font, we have our size and a few other things where if you hover over it, it'll give you a good idea of what they do. Or if you want a better placement, say like direct in the middle, you got it. So you don't have to like, you know, fidget with it. There's also the, the lines there that make it helpful. So that's the middle there. And that's the middle there. If we just move it, that would be the middle, you know, but this saves you from having to move around with it. You just click on a button and then there it goes. So let's delete that. Pretty simple stuff. We have styles. I don't mess around too much with this. This is pretty much going to be the templates that we created in the previous, but I like keeping it as it is. I think it looks good, but and almost last but not least, we're gonna have our branding. So this is where we can add intro or outro scenes. As I always talk about, I just don't like using these. For example, I can't stand as a YouTuber or someone who watches YouTube videos as well. When you watch a video and it takes like five, six, seven, eight longer minutes to get to the, the point that you're looking to get, it's just such a waste of time. And I don't like when people just mess around and beat around the bush. So for me, I don't like using intro and outro scenes. I'll talk a little and then I'll get into it. I just think it adds too much annoying time. So with that being said, if you did want to use it, you could simply click on this here and you're not going to notice here, this is where your stuff is going to go. So if you wanted to add a logo, you can upload logo right here. And there we have it. There's going to be my logo. Of course, we can change around the sides. We can change around the opacity, whether you want to make it lighter and more faint, stronger, bigger. And of course, very similar before, probably don't want to have it in the middle unless you just want to make that your actual, um, you know, in the middle of it. There's also going to be the text there where, you know, if you want to delete that. Let's do that. So just an example of what it would look like if you wanted to use that intro and outro. Now, when it comes to the scenes, we can upload our logo here as well so that all of our scenes kind of have a watermark with a branding. And there it is. Once again, logo size, you could probably make it a little bit smaller. And it's nice that they have this logo position so that it shows up in the same spot on all of your scenes. If you'll notice when I move it, if you watch down here, it's going to change with it. So it is going to be on all the scenes. And of course, right smack dab in the middle, probably don't want to do. But uh, for me on my YouTube videos, normally I have it down here where someone can subscribe. So I probably wouldn't put it there. Wherever you have that, if you are using YouTube videos, I'd recommend putting it like the opposite. Or maybe you just don't want it if you already have it. But this is good in case like someone steals your video, you will have your branding there. So it's obviously easy to tell, hey, uh, you stole that from me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Happens all the time, ironically enough. And last but not least, format. So make sure when you do select video resolution, you want 1080p. I've done that before where I did 720. And then of course you just need to uh, save it again pretty much. So what you'll wanna do is just simply click on download button here. We are gonna be good to go. It's gonna take some time to go for it. it obviously has to process and then generate video. And eventually once it is done, you can simply download it. I'm just gonna click on cancel because pretty much that's going to conclude this Pictory AI tutorial for beginners. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I didn't go through every single little thing possible, but I went over some of the main features where you're gonna at least know how it works, where you can go in, put in some type of script, change it around so you get some better videos. And then of course, probably the biggest thing here is going through and saying like, do I like this video? Do I like this one? Do I wanna change it? Do I wanna edit it? Everything else is gonna be the minor little details, but nevertheless, once you get good at the process, it's gonna be pretty quick for creating videos, especially if you already have scripts, plug them in, Pictory is really gonna help you out. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, I will have that link where you can test out Pictory for free. And should you wanna upgrade, you can get a nice little discount using the coupon code I have in the description. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.